Oh, so all credit to this uh, tribute goes to me, man. This isn't mine. I'm not. I just needed some tribute, so I just put up a previous tribute for since five year anniversary and just put it in Globo. This tribute was made by D Man. D Man, when are you gonna make this 68 year anniversary tribute? The purple gold in the center, terrible sound. It pulls a spinning high tension bars down. Wow, wow, wow. Helpless people on subway trains. Scream the god as he looks in our nail. The subway sunny throws a bad down as he races to the burden of the center of town. Ooh, ooh. Na, 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 na. Oh no, they say he's got to go, 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 Godzilla. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, go, go, Tokyo, go, go, Godzilla. Oh no, they say he's got to go, 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 Godzilla. Oh no, there goes Tokyo, go, go, Godzilla. Godzilla, 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 Oh, no. They say he's got to go, 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 Godzilla. No, no, no. no, no. There goes Tokyo, go, go, Godzilla. History shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man. History shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man. Godzilla, Godzilla, Godzilla. History shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man. Godzilla. Anyway, just want to do that little tribute, but maybe that will hold up for D-Man fans for their Sysavia tribute. I don't know. Anyway, this, in this series, in this video, I'm going to show you how I will do a Godzilla vs. Gamma. Now, I would do this in probably the Gamma Heisei trilogy continuity, most because it's the best way to do it. Like... If you were going to do it in the Heisei Godzilla continuity and have Gamma in it, it just wouldn't fit because... Because it just wouldn't fit because 
because of Rebirth or because of Junior would not make any sense for the mainstream audience. And I know people want to see because of Rebirth or because of Junior become the new Godzilla and fight other monsters, but fighting against Gamma wouldn't make any sense. You would expect them to fight on the side of good and fight against, I don't know, like some big baggin. But that's a time, that's a how, the how I would have done it for another time. Anyway, how I would have done a Godzilla vs. Gamma movie is pretty much have it set in the Gamma of Heisei continuity. I would start the film right where Gamma 3 left off. The first 10 minutes would literally have Gamma fighting the Gaios, and then all, and just when Gamma's on the brink of death, Godzilla, you see a blast of atomic breath shoot at the Gaios and blow up all the Gaios out of the sky. And then you see Godzilla there, rising to his resistance, looking at Godzilla, looking at Gamma, and then they roar each other. And then they fight for a second, and Gamma loses his fight, and Godzilla wounds the pretty and destroys and goes back to the ocean. And Gamma, well, Gamma doesn't die, he just gets badly injured during this fight against Godzilla. But how will I do the human? Well, I'll probably just have, I'll probably just have like some of the returning cast for the Heisei trilogy, like. The lady who played, uh, what's her name? Um, the psychic girl, but, but fuck, I think her name is Anami. Osami? Yeah, Osami, yeah. Osami. Osagi and Osami. Osagi, yeah. Have, the only returning cast I'll probably bring back from the Game of Trilogy is Osagi. But, That'll probably be the only returning to cast. I guess you can mean bat whatever the name of the bird girl was. I don't know what the name is. I can't pronounce the name, so but this can call it bird girl. The bird girl. You know who I'm talking about. Bird girl. Bring her back too, and maybe bring back maybe bring back the entire cast for Gamma 3. So you can have some continuity. Let me just bring back the detective. The I I and Bird Go and Osami. Just bring those guys back. But if you want to bring in some new cast, I just bring in bring in some previous cause of the cast members. Uh, maybe like if you want to be recognizable, I guess you can bring in Ken Down Rabbe, I guess. And have him as your Dr. Seozawa for this continuity. Or maybe you just have a Japanese actor, just so say so and so actor, some Japanese actor plays Dr. Sozar. I don't know who, but I'm not familiar with Japanese actors, so. Mm. And have Dr. Sozar be in this movie. Well, at least his son. Because, wait, what are you saying? His son. But that says that doesn't exist in the Heisei Gamma Trilogy continuity. Well, here's my loophole. This Godzilla that attacked Gamma isn't the first Godzilla. It's the second Godzilla in this continuity. Now, that might be cliche, but let's face it. Each Godzilla continuity has like at least two Godzilla. At least has two Godzillas. The only two continuities in the Godzilla franchise that don't have two Godzillas. Well, three. It's Godzilla vs. Megaeurus, Shin Godzilla, and Godzilla Final Wars. Those are the only three that have only one Godzilla. Every other continuity has two Godzilla. has more than one Godzilla. So it would make sense to have more than one Godzilla in this continuity. Heck, even for the Monsters fans... Even for those Monster First fans out there, you do know the Monster First has more than one Godzilla. They show it in the beginning of the movie. Anyway. 
But this Godzilla comes on the rampage. But how would I solve this movie? Well, I'll probably take, have it take place in present time. With most of the characters from Gamma 3 probably be like adults now. Probably be like, I don't know, probably in their 30s, I guess. I think they'll probably be in their 30s. Probably their 40s. They probably have kids of their own. And no, we will not be following their kids. You just see the kids go to high school, and you just see the figure of their life. But how this in take this story? Well, remember that thing I said about albino guys? Well, it turns out one of Osagi Bird Girl's daughter, Bird Girl's son, manages. Some off an A, a K that had Gaios, that had Obino Gaios, and manages someone for life and tells Bird Girl about this giant Gaios. And then, then an earthquake happens, and Godzilla shows up to fight this Obino Gaios. Now, wait, this isn't Godzilla versus Obino Gaios. This is Godzilla vs. Gamma. So where is Gamma? We came here to say Gamma, not Albino Gaios. Well, Albino Gaios will probably be will probably be like the third wheel in this movie. He'll fight Godzilla and automatically beat Godzilla to death. And then Gamma will show up to fight against Albino Gaios. And then Godzilla will remember who Gamma was. And it will be a three-way battle. Albino Gaios versus Gamma versus Godzilla. They'll be fighting to the death. Albino Gaios will eventually get killed. Like five minutes into the fight. He will get his head blown off by Godzilla and Gamma. When they beam... Actually, not even five minutes into the fight. Albino Gaios will basically just get his head blown off. And then Godzilla and Gamma will fight for the entire movie. Wanna so wonder what to get some questions to where this Godzilla came from? That's what Dr. Sell him. Dr. Sell's out will actually be the one who created this Godzilla. Well, not really created him. More like mm, found him in a lab. Well, not really. How would I put it? Uh, he would have found. He would have studied this Godzilla off an island, and then when he was discovered by this Godzilla, he ran for his life, and then tried to study this Godzilla. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making this shit up. Post ago. Okay. Anyway. Basically, the human story will probably have no plot, won't have that much to do with, will mostly deal with them trying to stop these monsters from fighting and stop, just stop, blah, 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 just try to stop them from causing casualties for this to the citizens. But they learn that it's too late and they, and Remember the scenes from GMK of people getting trampled during the rampage? Well, the same thing will happen here. Many people, you will see Godzilla push Gamma into buildings, fill people, and you will see blood spatter everywhere. Yeah, this will be an all rated good Godzilla vs. Gamma movie. You see C destruction scenes, Gamma, Godzilla pushing Gamma onto people, and Gamma accidentally crushing these people to death with his own body weight. You see Godzilla try to destroy Gamma, but Gamma dodges only for Godzilla to hit human civilians with his atomic breath. You see the dust and everything. This will be an all to Godzilla versus Gamma. These monsters will fight, and Gamma will get the speed advantage by doing this spinny thingy. And then, basically, he will hit 
Godzilla many times doing the spinny thingy. And it looks like Gamma has got the advantage in this fight. And Godzilla tries to hit him with his atomic breath, but doesn't manage to hit. And then Gamma, and then Godzilla manages to catch Gamma, and then Gamma grabs him, and basically you get that same scene from Death Battle. But not as cheesy, and not them actually going to space, just going to a mountain, just go straight into buildings, buildings to buildings. And then you see Gamma fly Godzilla into the ocean, dropping him. And it looks like Gamma has won this fight. But then Godzilla rises up to take a wall that was once his. And then this is when Serza comes in. Serza brings in the Austin Destroyer, which he uses on Godzilla. But fails mostly. It accidentally kills Gamma. Yep, the oxygen destroyer kills Gamma. And gets a little wins. But as Gamma is on the brink of death, he gets a new weapon from he gets powers from the oxygen destroyer. And gets stronger and is able to kick Godzilla's ass. But then Godzilla uses his red atomic breath to blow off Gamma's arm. And then uses a white spiral ray. The inf uses a white ray of light and destroys Godzilla and destroys Gamma completely. Leaving Godzilla at the mercy leaving Japan at the mercy of Godzilla. With Gamma the only hope gone. Godzilla's about to destroy Japan. But that's as uh, uses the oxygen manages to make another oxygen destroyer and this time perfectly kill Godzilla. Yeah. So basically he uses the oxygen destroyer twice. That's how I'll probably do a Godzilla Gamma move. They make it a whole lot of sense. I'll probably try to do Probably not as best good as how Rob would have done it. Videos do. But. Eh. This is Goji signing off. And remember, stay big, G fans. Oh, there will also be an Africa scene of Godzilla. Regenerating from a pile of bones. His skin will regenerate. His muscle, his skin will regenerate and he will become an, another gun. And Godzilla will regenerate from the Arch Destroyer. Never really explained how, but he regenerates.